people I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Aries, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this Three of Swords, and it's with the Star card. So what this is telling me is that for some of you Aries, you got hurt by your person. Three of Swords can be about heartbreak. It can be about sadness, sorrow, pain. And you were looking to feel great again with the star card here. Yeah, you were looking for rejuvenation. You were looking to feel hopeful about things again. You were looking to feel like the fabulous person that you were before you met this person. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the emperor and it's with the chariot. Now the chariot is actually a really fast type of movement, fast energy. You could feel like things are going too fast or someone is pressuring you in that way. But the thing about the chariot, it's actually a plan type of energy. It has a dream and a goal in mind. So with the emperor here, this is telling me that the person that you you got hurt by, they could be rushing towards you coming up. If they haven't already, they could be make they could be planning to take action towards you. Now, because this is an emperor, they could come they could be coming towards you not in a very loving type of way. The emperor is of cold energy. The emperor doesn't want to come across as being vulnerable. They only use their head and not their heart. So what I'm getting is that this is the same person who, who you got hurt by. For some of you, it could be someone else, but I'm getting it's the same person. They're planning to take action. It, it could feel like they're trying to push you to do something that you don't want to do. And it's a really fast type of energy, this chariot. So they might try to get you to do something like right away. Yeah, some type, something they're planning. It's a cold type of energy, so you probably will not go along with it. But let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. We got the Six of Swords and it's with the Strength card. Now, the Six of Swords can be about, you see these two people in a boat or uh, what is it, a canoe? They actually just got out of raging waters. And now the waters are still and calm. So it can be about moving into calmer waters. Yeah, so. You could just be wanting. For some of you, you just want peace. You Because you're still trying to build yourself up from this heartbreak. Or from being hurt by your person. You just want peace. You don't want to be rushed into anything. You don't want any fighting. 
and you're just looking to be stronger. The strength card is here. You could be looking um, to be the best you can be. Practice self-love, self-respect. Because you realize that you probably lost a lot of your, your best qualities when you were with this person. Yeah, you were dealing with someone who didn't give their heart to you. It's a cold type of energy, this emperor. The emperor is a card above the word chariot. chariot. So you lost a lot of, of yourself, and you're just trying to build yourself back up. You got the star card and the strength card here. You're, try, you're really trying hard to have hope again about relationships, people, life, and you're just practicing self-love, self-respect, and like I said, trying to be the best you, you can be. So you just don't want any more drama. This person is rushing in, trying to get you to do something right away. Don't know what it is. They've been planning it, though. Chariot is a planned action. He has a goal and a dream in mind. So, you just want peace. You don't want any fights. You don't want any raging waters anymore with this person. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Four of Swords, and it's with the Six of Pentacles. So your person, they find you to be really challenging now. I'm getting for a lot of you, you're not opening the door, you're not letting them in, you're not going along with whatever this rush situation that they're trying to put you into. So they could be just wanting rest after they feel like this is challenging or a struggle to try to get you to do anything. You feel like with the Six of Pentacles here that there, you feel like the Six of Pentacles is a, um, it can be about generosity. It could be about being the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. You want, uh, you could be realizing that you need um, a relationship that's prospering. You want a good relationship. You feel like you it's time to have a connection whereas it's it is um where there's a healthy dose of give and take with the six of pentacles here. Yeah, for some of you Aries, you were dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, for some of you, you were. And there probably was not a healthy dose of give and take in the connection. And they're just trying to figure out how to get you to do something for them. Yeah, for some of you, you could have been dealing with someone who was all about them. They didn't give to the connection like you thought they should have. And now that's what you're looking for. A good relationship that's, that's, that will prosper with the Six of Pentacles here. And, yeah, you probably, you could have felt like your person was not doing their fair share of giving. And they were cold and very detached. And you you had feelings for this person because you you did. You got your heart broke with the Three of Swords here. So you just want peace. You want to work on yourself. And you just want to feel good again. So that's the reading that I have for you, Aries. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over 
how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aries, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong, take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Aries reading, just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates, because once again, these are they're general readings, they're not personal readings. So Aries, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are, are doing well. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day, and take care.